Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. Today we are going to look at the Leafort, the Leafort classification, and this is going to be of the maxillary sinus. So it's the maxillary sinus. And to get started, first we have the Leafort one. So there is the Leafort one. So what is specific in the Leafort one? It's a transverse fracture of the maxilla. So it is a transverse fracture of the maxilla. and what is the line so here the line fracture line it passes through the lower part of the nasal septum so it passes through the lower part of the nasal septum and the maxillary antra and the maxillary antra next it also passes through the pterygoid plates the pterygoid plates then it separates the palate from the rest of the face leading to the so it separates it also separates the palate from the rest of the face from rest of face leading to so what does it lead to it leads to the floating teeth of palate it leads to a floating teeth or the palate so this uh, leafort one it is also known as the gurian's fracture so it is aka the gurian's fracture then we move on to the fracture 2 so the leafort 2 it is a, a pyramidal fracture it is a pyramidal pyramidal fracture so what happens in a pyramidal fracture the fracture line passes through the root of the nose so this fracture line passes through root of nose and the lacrimal bone so it passes the root of the nose the lacrimal bone then comes the floor of the orbit floor of orbit upper part of the maxillary sinus and the pterygoid bones pterygoid bones then on x-ray and ct it appears a hanging maxilla so on x-ray as well as on ct what appears there is a hanging maxilla which can appear so this uh, leafort 2 this fracture it is associated with the csf rhinorrhea so it is associated with the csf rhinorrhea this is again important then we move on to the leafort Three. So there's a leafort three. That is a cranial facial dysfunction. So looking at the cranial facial dysfunction, it is a facial skeleton. It is a facial skeleton, and this is completely disconnected from the cranial attachment. So it is completely disconnected from the cranial attachment. from the cranial attachment and there is a fracture line which passes through the root of the nose so there is a fracture line it passes through the root of the nose root of the nose and there is a ethmoidal frontal junction the ethmoidal frontal junction next there is a superior orbital fissure orbital fissure then comes the lateral wall of the orbit there is lateral wall of the orbit then comes the frontal zygomatic there is a frontal zygomatic and there is a temporal zygomatic sutures and temporal zygomatic sutures 
and the upper part of the pterygoid plates and lastly the upper part of the pterygoid plates upper part of the pterygoid plates so this is also associated with so the leaf for 3 and 2 are associated with so this is leaf for 3 so this is associated with the csf rhinorrhea So this was all about the leaf out classification of the maxillary fracture. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.